This is the HP ProBook 650G2 with the Core i5-6200 inside. 15.6 inch screen with Full HD. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute because it's one of the important points of the uh, review. 48 watt hour battery, I'll give you the battery life figures and classic notebook port setup here, including a serial port, which you don't see often on uh, devices these days. This is a device with a smart card reader and an SD card reader, so that's for additional security. You've got also your fingerprint reader and a Windows 7 Pro pre installed alongside Windows 10. It scored 83% in our review and it would have scored a lot more had it not been for the screen, which it's a little bit weak on brightness, okay, 300 nits is okay for indoors, and that's probably where this is mostly going to be used. But the color accuracy and the grayscale accuracy out of the box weren't that good, and the contrast right down at 531 to 1. We're really expecting something towards 1,000 to 1 in 2016. There's no dedicated graphics card in here, just the HD Graphics 520, so don't expect to be doing any gaming on it, but uh, performance is pretty good up there with uh, some of the best of the Ultrabook-style platforms. So that's a dual-core platform, and the PC Mark 8 score was 3,234. There's a couple of devices in our review you'll see that got a little bit faster than that, but there's plenty that get less than that. You can get the back off this fairly easily, and it's important because the SSD that's uh, built in also has PCIe Express port capabilities. So you can upgrade the SSD from a standard SATA 3 into um, a PCIe 3.0 port for a lot faster speeds. Having said that, the SSD was pretty good, 500 megabytes transfer rate, and 4K read and write speed there, pretty good as well. Accessible memory slot there, and we had 8 gigs installed in hours. The 48 watt hour battery, probably combined with the fact this is a Windows 7 Pro build, there's a lot going on in the background. Windows 7 is uh, the OS we tested. Wi Fi run times, 424 minutes there. There is uh, a fair number of devices in the class that are getting be better scores, although they have uh, bigger batteries. There's also a docking port on this, so if you're looking to expand this, this is a proper docking port uh, setup available on the ProBook 650. On the negative side, well of course that screen we've already mentioned, uh, the USB 3.1 Gen 2 is missing, so it's only USB 3.0, and there's no keyboard backlight, which is surprising for a device that costs 1,000 euros. The cellular data module doesn't have LTE support, it's only 3G. Again, the HP ProBook 650G2 scored 83%. There's an overview of the breakdown of the scores for you, the review on this Sasha Malk. If you got anything out of this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more reviews from Notebook Check, and we'll see you on the next Notebook Check review video. Thanks for watching.